was a vet on staff to check the animals before leaving. Many volunteers here, too. Well, I'm here to help the efforts um, any way I can, so it's a good thing for San Bernardino to get these dogs out of here. Of course, some say while this looks good, it doesn't address the real problems at this shelter. They're killing a lot of animals that they claim are sick. Animal rights attorney Marla Tauscher says the city just isn't doing enough. Oh, and they say things like, give us time, give us time. These are clear violations of law that could be fixed right now and need to be fixed right now. But San Bernardino Police Lieutenant Bridge Lawhead, who oversees this shelter, says there are quite simply too many animals coming into the facility for them to keep up with. A lot of times, you know, we get boxes of puppies that are left for us to, to deal with, uh, mainly because an owner probably didn't spay or neuter his dog, and, and now he has puppies and has, and has left them abandoned. Mawhead says the city will be hiring a full-time rescue coordinator, and they'll also be bringing in inmates to help clean some of the kennels. In the meantime, almost everyone agrees that groups like Wings of Rescue can help. Instead of saying, you're doing this, you're doing that, say, how are we going to work together to fix this? And you can help by adopting a pet from the shelter this Saturday at their pet adoption fair. I'm told it runs from 10 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. And as you might imagine, there will still be a lot of animals up for adoption. Live in San Bernardino, Rob McMillan, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Beautiful animals out there. Rob, thank you. New at 5, the L.A. County.